I want to share with you today a contemplative exercise which Father taught me. It will help you to pray everywhere you go. It will help you to pray whatever you do. You can visualize, you can see by using your godly imagination. And that's prayer. And you know, I want to bring to you today uh, this example which I often use as this example of John G. Lake. It's when the plague was at the time and he was looking after a pe people who been um, in a hospital and doctor came to him and said how wonderful it is that this vaccine is working in us now and we would not contaminate this disease and uh, John G. Lake said you know I didn't have this vaccine he said how is it uh, you do not afraid to um, catch this and he said look he came to a person who already died and he touched his mouth and it's a foam on his uh, mouth and uh, he put it under the microscope and doctor together with John G. Lake start, uh, watched it how those um, viruses uh, was just um, dying on his hands this um, uh, very dangerous um, scene was just dying because touching hands of John G. Lake and you know what I would like to say to you today that hands of John G. Lake is no difference to your hands it's the very same hands of Jesus those first hands of Jesus you have it's in you and we can use those hands because our hands drop fatness just as our feet as Bible tells us you know as you walk your feet release anointing as you touch whatever you touch your hands release anointing and today when I was in a shower father started to talk to me and I was thinking of a so cold at that time and I didn't want it to uh, come out on my body this so-called and father said you should not afraid those things because your hands are anointed hands and he remind me the story of John G. Lake and he said it comes out whatever you touch it's contaminated with anointed whatever you touch anointed comes out your hands drop fatness and this oil this golden oil oil comes out on those scenes so i was uh, seeing in the spirit it's sort of like imagining i see myself i contemplate myself how uh, anointing comes out out of my hands as i touch soap as i touch towel and I see how anointing comes out and I see it as a golden oil or sometimes I see it as a golden dust and I, I was seen as a shower you know when shower comes on you when water comes on you it was not just a simple water any longer it's anointed water it's a life uh, like living waters your shower became like living waters and it's come it touches your body it's penetrating in uh the anointing from this water penetrating into your body and now you can see how it goes in your blood this anointing which is the blood of Jesus because when you take communion you take his body and you take his blood and this blood is your blood blood of Jesus in your blood it's one blood and I like to see it as a golden blood as a gold a golden anointing which penetrate in every cell and now i want you to continue to contemplate how you walk 
through your house and whatever you touch it became anointed and as you dress yourself t-shirt trousers and whatever you put on yourself it became anointed your anointed hands release this anointing and this oil this fatness it's penetrating in you your t-shirt your bathrobe everything you touch is anointing as you touch your child your child is anointed child you know your grandson your granddaughter your children you release an anointing on them you release healing on them just by thinking of them you know when you look at somebody you release anointing and as you go to your kitchen we continue this journey which you should do daily for yourself and doing this exercise as you touch your frying pan your frying pan is anointed now as you drop your eggs on this frying pan your eggs are anointed as you eat them whatever comes into your body you eat your cereal you eat your porridge uh, you eat your fruits or vegetables as they go into your body they anointed because you prepare them you touch them uh, you've been doing this breakfast or any any meal for you and it's anointed meal that go into your digestive system and it's anointing go in it and you see how every part of your body now shining it's anointed it's filled with this glory of the father and that's a perfect exercise as you continue your day as you clean in your house as you go to your work as you say hello to your uh, colleagues at work uh, as you touch their hands they touch uh, your touch releases anointing on them so uh, this is just um, a wonderful wonderful exercise for you this is a wonderful um, contemplative uh, Im imagination which you use to release into your body which you use to heal your body which you use to heal uh, your friends your family and now we continue we continue this walk during the day we continue to exercise this every day we continue to think that if you brush your teeth your teeth are now uh, you, you take your toothbrush your toothbrush is anointed toothbrush your toothpaste is anointed you your teeth now they filled with anointing and as you see your teeth how they regenerating how a new teeth coming you just release this glory in them you see how they growing you see how the new roots forming you see how new uh, nerves of your teeth forming inside your mouth you see how your gums are regenerating you see how the feeling of your teeth now uh, just um, became uh, uh, as a new tooth you just see it all these things are happening in your body and as you do this continually and all the time you see the difference in your body if you touch your face you see how the uh, wrinkles are just flattened they filled with a golden anointing your wrinkles are disappear in the glory as you walk you see yourself in, in that glory of the father you walk with this glory whatever you are 
the light, the creative light of the Father is there because you in it. You are in the Father and Father is in you. You are glorious. Your body uh, is glorious. That's the way you should see. You should see things around you. It's like glory, 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 like those cherubs were crying out when they were around the throne and you, you are releasing that glory. Why is this glory on the earth? Because are you, you are here on this earth and Father, the great I am who is in you and you are in him. He is walking on this earth and He releasing this glory through you. Father is walking by you, the great I am, and you are one. And whatever you touch, it's Father's touch. It's Jesus' scans which is touching those things. And you should see and it doesn't matter whether it's a small sin like a spot on your body or whether it's a big sin and whether you see yourself as a glorious eagle as jesus who is just open his wings and embrace this heaven embrace this earth and this earth are healed you know if your mind changing the mind of christ which you have and it's changed from glory to glory it became more and more glorious as your mind are healing the earth healing you know how it Bible says that creation is crying and waiting it's for the sons to be released. It's groaning. It's you know we can hear this vibration of groaning creation. Uh, and when you think of it, when you think of yourself, that every your thought which you release it's a sort of great i am and the thought it's a healing thought when you see yourself like this the earth is heal, re receiving your healing you know the earth is healed because you release this healing hallelujah father thank you that you healing this earth through your children through your sons hallelujah and now i can just feel this anointing on my hands why i feel in this anointing just because i'm talking about it just because i seen it like self and i see myself as a father who embracing this earth and healing this earth this amazing power power of the holy spirit which given to you is healing everything around you and you are able to do it because one who united with the lord is one spirit with the lord and this is a life-giving spirit of jesus which is in you and you releasing it now and let's go on the miles and miles around you when you think like this and when you believe like this when you think this way because you are that son the great i am the son of god jesus are one and you are sitting in the father on the throne and you are reigning and you are ruling and you are changing this earth and that's why every creation all creation have been waiting for you to receive this revelation hallelujah father thank you for those hands which are jesus's hands those person hands which you given to us which you placed in us and it's in a way been always like this we discover ourselves in this way 
because we were in Jesus before the foundation of this earth. You and Jesus are one. And no longer I live, but Him, Jesus. And I am one, and I am raised with Him. And now I am sitting on a throne, and I am ruling, and I am reigning. And I am releasing this amazing anointing. And whatever I touch, this glory, that glorious oil comes out, out of my hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for this anointing which is flowing now as I talk. Thank you.